Hi there. This is the Polgar and Svidler fried liver theme trap in the Spanish Open. It uh, resembles the fried liver attack in the two knights defense. So after e4 and e5, knight f3, knight c6, bishop b5, the Spanish a6 and the bishop back to a4. Knight f6 where white castles and in the open variation of the Spanish black takes the pawn on e4. D4 is black's most popular move here, prizing open the center. B5 sends the bishop back to B3. We've also explored in this position, instead of B5, um, E takes on D4, the Riga variation. After bishop goes back to B3, after B5, black secures the center with D5. Now d takes on e5 is met by bishop e6, a common position. White can try knight bd2, confronting the, the opponent's knight on e4. But avoiding trades, the knight goes to c5, which hits the bishop on b3. c3 can be met by a number of moves. One of the leading contenders is d4, to which white has a number of uh, decent choices, and this move, knight to g5, is one of them. Perhaps slightly unexpected, the knight is giving itself up. However, if queen takes on g5, white does have queen to f3, with serious pressure um, on the knight on c6, as well as the rook behind it on a8, and if the bishop on e6 goes back to defend on d7, then there is a decisive attack by capturing on f7. Having said that, queen takes on g5 by black is probably uh, black's best move here, queen takes on g5. If instead bishop to d5, avoiding uh, trading, then uh, in this position white can do the fried liver theme which is characterized by a sacrifice on f7. Uh, Anand himself when he played the white pieces here actually played in one of his games bishop takes on d5. If instead this move knight takes on f7 this fried liver theme king takes f7 now the queen can enter into the attack on f3 check cannot be captured because the bishop on d5 is pinned to white's bishop on b3 so the king is gonna move up to defend it on e6 now queen g4 check and this is where black uh, can go wrong correct move here is king to e7 but white will definitely enjoy a very serious initiative for the sacrificed piece if instead king to f7 that mamadiarov played against polgar this is now losing and white can finish it off in fine style with queen f5 check, forcing king to e7. Now e6, that does a lot of things. It uh, opens up an attack on the bishop on d5, as well as targeting f7. Queen f7 is a serious threat. Well, what can black play here? If knight takes the pawn on e6, then bishop takes on d5. Looks uh, killing. If instead knight takes on b3, then knight on d2 recaptures. White maintains the pressure and with this bishop now free to move to g5. And that will pick up the queen. So we're looking at this move. Bishop takes on e6. Well, white could certainly play queen takes on c5, but better to maintain the pressure. Rook e1, probably even better, threatening now a capture of the bishop on e6. Queen d6 defends the knight and the bishop, but now bishop takes on e6 is uh, going to be recaptured by knight takes on e6. And now knight e4, gaining time, hitting the queen on d6. So queen e5 desperately wanting to swap queens but bishop g5 check will send the king to d7 and now knight c5 giving the, the knight's giving itself up but in so doing the queen on e5 is hit by the rook after knight c5 then bishop can take the knight on c5 but white doesn't have to capture the queen immediately better is queen f7 sending the king to d6 
If the king would have gone to c8, then rook would have just simply taken the queen with a one position for white. If the king goes to d6, then bishop e7 check. The king is back up to d5 now. The queen back to f3 sends the king to c4 and b3 is checkmate. So this has been the Polgar and Svidla fried liver theme trap in the Spanish Open. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.